So what about reorder point? I see a lot of organizations using reorder point as their method of planning when to release the next order into either the shop or the purchase area. Uh, reorder point is based upon a target level, and we'll talk about this demand through lead time plus safety stock, where the target level is equal to the demand per period, and that demand can either be a historical demand, or you can actually go into MRP underscore D and calculate the actual projected demand from uh, MRP. You then multiply or add the review period and the lead time times that demand and add safety stock, and that will then give you your target level. So what you have on hand minus the target level is typically what you're going to order. Now, this reorder point, if we look at it in terms of this graph, we can see that uh, you consume product over time, in this case, five periods of time. And then the logic is that you replenish inventory with an order quantity and repeat the cycle. The curve that represents the uh, demand is basically small incremental decreases in inventory. We'll talk about safety stock, but we normally maintain safety stock because this uh, curve sometimes goes this way, sometimes goes this way. So the safety stock is our uh, calculation against the fluctuations in demand. And then we order an EOQ. And based on lead time, when the quantity reaches this reorder point, we launch an order out into the system. So if we look at some uh, values, if we started off with 100 units and we have 20 units of safety stock with a two uh, period lead time, we can see that the reorder point, that point at which we would launch a new order, is equal to 100 minus 20 equals 80 divided by the five periods of consumption. It means we're going to consume 16, period, 16 units per period. So the demand through lead time is 16 times 2, or 32. And so therefore, the safety stock is the reorder or the uh, demand through lead time plus safety stock or 52 units. So when the inventory reaches that 52 point, we launch an order out into the system. Here's a simple uh, reorder calculation. We've got 200 units per week, 200 units of safety stock, order quantity of 2,000, and a uh, four week lead time. So you can see that you could very easily create a spreadsheet that has all these parameters and automatically calculate the reorder point for each uh, independent demand item. Here's some order, uh, reorder point uh, concepts. The order quantities are usually fixed in order where that EOQ or that lot size is uh, normally the same. Uh, reorder point is determined by the average demand for lead time. So if you're gonna use reorder points, you need to recalculate demand every single month or every single period. The intervals between replenishment are typically not constant because that uh, demand curve that we saw on the sawtooth curve is not necessarily constant and consistent. The average inventory is equal to the order quantity minus two average plus safety stock. So reorder point is fine at that top level, at the independent demand level. It works uh, fairly regularly, and you can uh, put that reorder point calculation at the end item in 1.4.7 or 1.4.17, your item planning uh, data. However, for lower level items, the demand is lumpy. So when you have a bill of material parent component relationship, the only demand that occurs is when you launch an order for the parent. And that makes the uh, stock or the reorder point logic on a lower level item, a dependent demand item, it doesn't work very well. So we tend not to use reorder point on bombs. We only use reorder point at the top orders. 